Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Day to Day with Ray, with your girl Ray Ray. That's me, that's me. What is up everyone? Today is the day after Halloween. The worst day for teachers, one of the worst days, as my chair is going down, going, is it done? Okay, it's done. Uh, oh, and my cake's ready, hold on. Okay, I'm back, so. I am baking my, I was gonna say La La Loopsies. Y'all remember La La Loopsies? Um, I am baking my LOL Surprise Doll. It is super late, it's like almost nine o'clock Thursday. Cake is due Saturday morning, plus work and everything else. Oh, oh my goodness. So yeah, so yesterday was Halloween. I hope everybody had a wonderful and fun and safe Halloween. Um, yesterday was a really a long, long day for me because with work, we went on a field trip. We went to the great Blacks and Wax Museum in Baltimore City. Um, it was a very interesting field trip to say the least. Um, I work with a lot of urban children and my whole hopes for this whole trip because it's you know it's all history it's all a part of history um hold on one second my son is coming okay sorry about that um so the whole reason for the field trip was we're doing um we're writing pieces of memorable people and writing about their lives and writing about um their influences and you know like details about their life and like we read Nellie Bly we read about Hershey we read about Disney so um one of the main goals and one of the main things that I hoped that the kids would get out of this field trip was um to have more sense of their heritage, I guess, you know what I mean? And to really listen and, um, my cat is up on the box. <laughs> um, but I think some of them really did. There was one little boy, um, I won't say his name cause I don't want to get in trouble. Um, but he was actually taking notes and writing all these people down. He says, he um, had told me and my teacher, he says, I want to go home and I want to research more on these people. I find these people interesting. I've never heard of these people. And I thought like that was awesome. But there was other just other kids are just like, oh, you know, like making fun of the whole exhibit and like saying, oh, they clothes is ugly or, you know, they don't look right. And like, why they look like that? And just they were more worried about their appearance and like making fun of like the hair or making fun of um whatever and you know and they were just so rude like I just was like what in the world but yeah so I it, at least I know that some of the children took something away from it um but others were just very immature and rude about the whole field trip which is very sad and um but yeah, so if anybody would like to see pictures of this, I can post it on my Facebook page, on my day-to-day -day rave Facebook page. I can post, um, it's like 40 some pictures I took because I also, we use Class Dojo. So I have put it on, if you're a parent with a kid in school, you might know Class Dojo. But I took pictures for the Class Dojo and I did post them on my private page, but I can post them on um my day-to-day -day rate page and I can also post some on my Instagram whichever one you follow I don't do Twitter like I have a Twitter but I don't really do Twitter like I don't like Twitter um personally let me see I'm trying to adjust this light a little bit so anyway after our field trips and after all these flights of stairs because there was three floors um we went trick-or-treating we came right home I wanted to meet we were we were gonna meet with my one friend um, but we had some stuff to do with the fire department. So as soon as my son got home, we had his costume and everything in the truck, went over to the fire department. Um, 
came back, no, went to the fire department. We met up with our one friend and her son. We did trick or treating around there and then we were gonna grab dinner and then head over. Cause I haven't seen my, my one best friend in like a long time. And so we were gonna go meet them over there across town. But we almost got in like, yes, last night was crazy. We almost got in two different car accidents. And then I, my husband was very upset because, and we just like left and came home. He's like, I can't. Um, we went to Nally Fresh. I don't know if you guys have one of those near you. Very good food, very good salads. Um, but my son wanted macaroni and cheese and that's what he asked for. And the guy said, oh, we don't have any macaroni and cheese. There was a pan sitting right there. And he was like, no, no macaroni and cheese. And my husband says, there's a pan of macaroni and cheese right there. And he was like, just looked at him. And he was like, so my son can't have, but my Braden was like, you know, dad, I'll eat a salad. And he says, no, you want a mac and cheese. You know, and it was just, you know, it upset my husband. So we just left um, and came home and we didn't make it because it was like the end of the night. I was actually super exhausted anyway, but my medicine did come. My thyroid medicine finally got my regular prescription with the right dosage and I took it today and for the first time in forever. So hopefully within the next couple days I'll start feeling like myself again and start being more energetic and whatever because before I had like a couple months saved um, of my old generic low dosage levothyroxine just so I would have something but now I have my Synthroid at the right dosage so I'll give it a couple days because then I haven't had my medicine for a couple weeks after I ran out because I just didn't have the money to get it. So, um, because my insurance won't cover it, so I had to save a little bit in order to get it, and plus pay bills and all that other stuff. So, excuse me, moving on. So, the whole reason why you probably clicked on this video after me babbling for almost 10 minutes. This big, gigantic, humongous box that Callie, that Callie is currently residing on. So this is my, it's not a lot, it's only three items. This is my Lakeside Collection order. Um, we were talking about this in a live stream about this company. Um, I don't order from them much. I love a lot of their items. They're great for Christmas. They're great for decorating um like a lot of, get off me <laughs> a lot of really good kid stuff and if anybody has an ollie's near them um christmas season in case you did not know if you don't have an ollie's bargain barn or ollie's bargain outlet whatever it's called near you find one google it they bought out they got all the toys r us toys the buyouts and they sell their stuff good and cheap super cheap actually that's the logo good and cheap but they're selling them super 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 cheap um but yeah so um fyi make note of it but um lakeside collections a great place the only thing that is their their shipping's a little expensive like this was ten dollars shipping um and they don't ever hardly offer, like even Oriental Trading will offer free shipping on any orders occasionally. But, cause I don't really order a lot from them and often enough, but if there's like, cause usually the regular shipping, like Oriental Trading, I think base is like $7. Like if I only want a couple items, it's like, I gotta spend an extra $8 and I'm just like, I'll pass. But um if they have the free shipping then i'm like okay well let me take a look and see what i can get and then that's when i usually get all my cool stuff and so um kelly you gotta get down babies you gotta get down so this is my lakeside collection it's three things Ugh. um you gotta have to come down come on come on Ooh. Ooh. Okay, come on. Get down. Shh, get down. Kelly. Get down. Life with cats. I'm telling you. So. Let's get these snacks. So this is a super gigantic enormous box. Well, I had 
Um, I ordered a couple big things. So, because we were talking about this on the live stream, because I was mentioning, or mentioning, yeah, I can't talk tonight. Um, mentioning that, because we were talking about cats and Christmas trees. And I had saw one of these at Walmart, but believe it or not, if you go on the walmart.com website and look for this one particular item, it's actually on there from Lakeside. And it's more expensive. So I don't know why, but it is. So, but if you order it direct from Lakeside, it's only, I think I paid $14.99 or $14.95 for it. And I think on Walmart, it's $23. I always pop these. I'm sorry. I'm just like, no, die, but air bubbles. Of course, I get like really weird sometimes and I'm like, but what if they put some like poison gas and here I am just like stabbing these things. Look, and these aren't even filled. Like, what is the deal? Okay. <sighs> okay. So what do we got here first? Okay, I think I know. Do I know what this is? Okay. So I know what this is, I think. So here's one item. That is really big. Here is two items. Here is three items. Thank you for being a cus value customer. Special offers. We'll be able to look at that. Here is the invoice. And this is, uh, I don't know what that is. It's garbage. Okay, are you ready for a big box, Kelly? This is the box. It says around the world values. Oh, is she trying to get in the box before you? Okay. All right. So let's see what's in here first. Because sometimes they do give you some good coupons. Okay, there's checks. Save $25 on Schwann's. So here's a coupon code if anybody. This is a delicious family meals. This is save $25 with your first purchase of a $50 or more from Schwann's food delivery. So coupon code meals138. So there's that. Excuse me, pardon me. Oh, Disney's Once Upon a Time Slipper. The ornaments collection. Those are adorable. Halloween is now over. Oh, well, this is Nightmare Before Christmas, so this is a little different. But a Nightmare Before Christmas cuckoo clock. That is adorable. This is all Bradford Exchange. This doesn't say how much it is, which means it's expensive. This is, does it even say? No, limit one per order. But it doesn't say how much it is because... Oh, here it is. Payable in four monthly installments of $49.99 each for a total of $200. How much are these ornaments? Um, order now for the remarkable, remarkable issue price of only $29.99 for the set one. Payable in two installments of $14.99. Let's see. Guideposts escape beautiful no we don't need that and my granddaughter you are my sunshine a magical glitter globe oh, this is what it looks like and this is uh 59.99 for two installments of 29.99 but that doesn't add up because 99 make 18 so it would be should be like i don't know I'll have to check it out. Oh, there's something else in here. What is this? My cats are coming in the box. Your computer's hard drive will fail. Picture keeper. Okay. Enough of those shenanigans. All right. So the first thing that I have on top is I have been wanting a pair of gray boots. Um, I don't know if these are going to fit. But I will try. I don't see. I don't know how to return orders. Let's see. 
Um, no hassle returns. Uh, call us, pack it, print, and ship. Okay, so. All right, so these were lace up winter boots in a gray in a size 910. These were $13.98. And I paid full price. This was not a sale item. These are a large 910. So, because I have been wanting some gray boots. All right, so here's the boots. They got like a little, um, just like a little ribbon. I think what I might would do is find some actually, like some real actual ribbon and, um, and relace them with like a real satin ribbon. I think that would look really, really pretty. Um, scissors. Ugh. Okay. Let me put this one on. And the reason why I'm putting this one on is because if this will fit my bad leg, the one that swells sometimes, and is actually bigger than my left, then I'm not really too worried about the other one fitting. And then the other thing I liked about this too was that you can adjust, you know, the width. So... I'm actually going to try this on really quickly. Give me a second. Okay, so the boots are a winner. They're very comfy, cozy. I think I will switch out and put a different type of ribbon in here, like a gray or a silver, um, like maybe a satin ribbon, just to kind of give them a little bit more pizzazz. But just to show you, ooh, can you guys see? It's really, it's very comfortable and it, I like how it's still closed. It adjusts. I don't know. Again, not well you can see. I don't feel like moving the camera. So, um, so yeah, if they're comfortable, I like them a lot. They have fur. I'm obsessed with boots with like any type of like fuzz fur or anything on them. So these are definitely a go. These are 910 and they're actually kind of big. Um, in the foot area, like, I think my toe was, like, here, but, um, they're super soft. These are just, like, the Walmart shoes. Um, they're constructed the same way. It's about the same price you would probably pay for a nice Walmart, like, not nice Walmart boots, but for a Walmart boot. Um, but, yeah, these are really cute. They're just simple, whatever. But, like I said, I think I'm going to buy some ribbon, and I am going to just jazz this part up a little bit make it a little bit more girly um it would be cool if they had um like a little fur ribbon or something do they make fur ribbon probably not but i would just get like a regular little lace ribbon so those are super cool happy about that incoming okay so this was the main reason that I placed the order was for this metal tree ring. And I figured I'd get it so I can show you guys because we were talking about the kitty cats and the Christmas trees. Because this year, we gonna have some problems with Callie because she is crazy. Um, I was gonna say, please tell me they sent me the right one, but it's all wrapped up, so I still don't know yet. Um, so I decided to get this metal ring. Oh, it is heavy. Okay, here is the instructions to assemble it. So it's a uh, four piece, eight piece. Okay, so I can't lose the screws. Great. But here's the little assembly thing. And I think what I'll do is I will open it very carefully we'll say because um okay so these are like little protectors it's very well okay this is another protector where's the screws and stuff let me look in these little things. Are they? 
I don't see the screws and stuff. Oh, here they are. So here's a little bag of screws because I got the red one. I don't know what that was. Um, so here, here is the metal tree, the tree ring. I'm not going to take them all out, but you guys will get the idea. So you screw these together and this will go around the bottom of the Christmas tree. So you'll screw these together and then it'll go around and it'll like be less accessible for the cats to get under it. Now I don't know exactly how true that is, but um, if anything I might put some I don't know if I'm going to put a garland or put something over the top to prevent the cats even from jumping in. But I think this is tall enough that the branches um, would be like over top of this. So it still would be a little hard for the cats to get under there. But um, this was only $14.95, I believe. $14.98. The boots were $13.98. This was $14.98. So, um, I don't think this was a bad deal because at Walmart they're actually 20 something. Granted, if this is all you're buying, then it's probably better to go to Walmart and get it because then you don't have to pay the $10 shipping. But if you get more stuff, like they have really cute shower curtains and household items and things like that, then I would get your money's worth. And then, um, I don't want to lose these. So I'm going to put them in here and I'm gonna put this right back in this box so I don't lose anything and I have proof that I put them back in here so um so yeah this is gonna be really cool for the Christmas tree I'm still gonna I think I'm still gonna put my tris my my Christmas tree my Christmas tree skirt on I'll probably put that down first I think and I think I have it all in the same box with my tree. And then um, I'll put my Christmas tree skirt down and then put that on and then stack the rest of the tree. Okay, so this box is my last item. It is a rather large box. Um, boop. 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 Okay. So I'm gonna open this. This is the last item. Oh, let me put this in here. I can't lose the instructions. Even though it's pretty self-explanatory. Self I'm famous for losing stuff. You have no idea. Okay. So. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. So I've kind of always wanted one of these. Because one, I'll tell you in a second. Let me open this box. Okay. It is a gigantic, huge cupcake pan. I have seen these in the stores for a very long time and I have always wanted one because one I hate baking cupcakes because I have I do have one really good cupcake pan um I actually got it at Ollie's it's a really heavy one but I hate that like I can't fit because so my really good one has a wide like so like here's the cupcakes but it comes out like super wide it's like this drip guard and like all this other stuff but like I said it comes out really wide so I can't fit both of my cupcake pans in the oven and I'm like man like so I still have to only do I can only do one tray at a time but with this bam I can knock a whole lot of them out in like 15 minutes and be done and on with my life you know and then I can just put this whole tray in the oven and be done with it so super stoked I'm super excited about this pan and you will not believe how much I paid for it granted it's not a Wilton 
I don't know how good it's gonna last. It seems pretty good. I don't bake cupcakes often, but when I do, I am now prepared. Um, this pan was only $3.75. It is a monster cupcake pan. So, um, so yeah. $3.75 on clearance. Can't beat that. And then, like I said, shipping was... It doesn't say on here. It doesn't even give you... Oh, yes, it does. Oh, I lied. So, my total for everything was $32, which I don't think was a very bad price at all. And shipping was $10 for a grand total of $42.70. Now, like I said, shipping, whatever. But you really pay for convenience anymore. And that's what I did. But I lucked out because I got some really cool items. And I'm not returning anything, so I'm ripping this up. Um, I don't need it. And, yeah, so super stoked about this and I can't wait to actually put my Christmas tree ring on and I'm excited for all three items I really like my boots um like I said I am gonna get ribbon as I said for the fifth time I'm gonna get some ribbon and um I'm gonna jazz them boots up a little bit so after that I'm gonna be good to go and yeah so that was my lakeside collection uh little mini mini haul um, like I said, the main, the whole purpose for the order was the tree ring, but the rest were extras. But hey, I've been looking at gray boots for like a while now, at least since September, and haven't found any that I like. But I like those, so. It all worked out. Oh, I forgot to take my medicine, too. Let me do that right now. But I am going to conclude this video. I'm going to take it out before I forget and sit it right here on the table. All right, guys, thank you so, so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Check out Lakeside Collection. It is like a little hidden gem. Um, so it's like a really cool little website. And um, they have, like, like I said, kids' gifts, regular gifts. They, get, they have all kinds of stuff. They have you covered. And especially like NFL items, like team stuff. Like they only have certain amount of teams. But the teams that they do have, if that's a team that you or one of your loved ones love or like, you're set. Like, they have good stuff. So, um, they even had toasters at one point, like NFL toasters. It was really funny. But, um, but yeah, check out like Side Collection. Maybe you might find something. And, yeah. So, on that note, I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you want to. And I will see you guys in the next video, which may be tomorrow when I start making and busting my butt doing this LOL surprise cake. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys. Mwah. See you later.